Hi everyone, my name is Sadie Lewis and I'm a licensed real estate agent in the state of Utah. With our market being as hot as it has been lately, I've had several people ask me what it takes to get your real estate license. So I thought I would dedicate this week's blog and walk you through the process to becoming a licensed agent. So I got my license back in 2010 and I love real estate. I have been so blessed to be in this profession. I love what I do, I enjoy being out with people, and so I think it's a great profession, and I would highly recommend you guys who are looking to get involved to get on it. Like, now's the time, today's the day, <laughs> go do it. So before I go through the steps of what it takes, I thought I'd just kind of put my two cents worth in on my opinions on, you know, some personality traits that I think make a good agent. Number one is communication skills, guys. You need to have good people and interpersonal skills be able to communicate clearly and effectively the real estate process to your clients. You want to have the confidence in yourself to be able to negotiate their offers to get them the best deal possible. Um, so I think that's very, very important. Another thing that I think is important is to be scheduled and um, organized. You want to be on top of your stuff. You cannot afford to delay things. You cannot afford to take it slow. You have to be on top of everything. And the other thing I would suggest is honesty and integrity, guys. Um, real estate agents, like, this is a great profession, and I hate those jokes about those skeezy real estate agents because I believe that the majority of agents are reputable and put their clients' needs first and do a really, really good job. So I just encourage you to be honest, um, have great communication skills, and be organized and scheduled. And that's what I would recommend, and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I'll just kind of walk you through the steps of what it takes. So something to keep in mind before you get your license and something you'll probably want to work on while you're getting licensed is coming up with the funds to become an agent. So it does cost a little bit to get started. So you're going to be right around $2,500 after schooling, after all your board dues are paid. Um, so I kind of break it down in the video, but my little cheat sheet here. So you're about $600 for school if you go through Stringham Real Estate School. You're $100 for your testing. I cannot remember exactly, but I felt like it was $70 bucks a test or $80 bucks a test to go take my test. So I just put in $100 bucks to kind of give you a general idea. And then it's $152 to submit your application to the state. That's non-refundable. And then you're about $1,500 to pay your full year's board dues. So um, you add all that up and you're right around $2,500. So plan on being able to save up that money um, and just know it's going to hit you right out of the gate before you start re selling real estate. That's what you're going to need to come up with. And that doesn't include like your signs, your advertising, your business cards. Um, but all that stuff can be done as, you know, the time comes, the need comes, you can go and get your signs. Business cards off of Vista print are not that expensive. That's where I get all of mine. Um, so anyway, that's just something to keep in mind. So the school I went through to become a real estate agent is Stringham Schools. Their website is stringhamschools.com. I highly recommend them. I was very happy with them when I first went through them to become a real estate agent. And then I just barely completed the program to become a real estate broker. I just need to go take the test, but I took those classes through Stringham as well, and I've been super happy with them. Um, so here's, to become a real estate agent, their course is $595. It is a 120-hour course, and you can do up to 40 credits a week. So you can move through this fairly quickly. Again, like I said, the price, $595, 120 credits, and it comes with your binder. It comes with all sorts of information. So your tuition includes your 120 required hours, the hours that are required from the state, online classes, live classes. I did mine all online. I love their online classes. Textbook included, live weekly webinar, webinar, and their exam prep. I love, love their exam prep. I feel like they are right on track with the way the state tests are. So it really, really will, it really will help you. It helped me a lot. Free tutoring. There are student peer groups online, full-time student advisors, and full-time technical support. I was super happy with them. Of course, you guys can go and shop around and look at other schools and other companies out there that offer training, but I highly, highly recommend Stringham just because I have been so happy with them. This is the Utah Department of Commerce, the Division of Real Estate for Utah's 
website. This is where you get on to go over the licensed sales agent registration, the requirements to become a real estate agent. It goes through, you know, you got to be at least 18 years old, have a minimum of a high school diploma, take your 120 hours of approved education, go ahead and pass the state agent, the sales agent exam. And then once you pass that exam, you have 90 days to put your application into the state. So don't go pay for your school, go ahead and pass the exam and then not get on top of this, guys. So as soon as you pass your sales agent exam, go ahead and submit your application into the division of real estate, which that's why you took the test in the first place, right? You want to become an agent. Um, it, and then it goes into the checklist, everything you need to submit to get approved with the state. And here is what it costs. So it's $152 non-refundable fee to put in your application um, to get registered. Then they have a checklist here, which is what you print off and submit with all the required paperwork. So it's super easy, really straightforward. You guys just read it through carefully. Here's their contact information. It's all on their website, of course. So if you have any questions, you can always just come here and contact the Division of Real Estate. Make sure you're doing everything right. It never hurts to double check. Okay, so once you guys get approved with the board, you are now licensed to sell real estate in the entire state of Utah. But you need to get with a board and you need to sign up with a broker. So first step would be to find out what local board you want to be affiliated with. I live down here in Washington County. So my primary board is the Washington County Board of Realtors. But because I want to have access to utahrealestate.com, which is the largest MLS service in the state of Utah, I have a secondary membership at Utah Central Association of Realtors. So I am a member of both boards and I'll kind of explain why I did that. So there are four MLSs in the state of Utah. There's one for Washington County, one for Iron County, and then one for Park City. So, and then your fourth one is utahrealestate.com. So that one by far is the largest MLS in the state of Utah and the majority of properties are listed on there. So I have... My MLS for Washington County is flexmls.com. That's our MLS that I list all my properties on, that when I search for properties that are listed down here, I go to that one. If I do anything outside of Washington County, I use utahrealestate.com. But I have to be a member of a board who is affiliated with utahrealestate.com, and that is Utah Central Association of Realtors. These boards all up here will be affiliated with it too. It's just those Iron County, Washington County, and then Park City, like I said before. So when I list my properties on Flex MLS, I also list them on utahrealestate.com because St. George, that's like a secondary residence. People love to move down here for retirement or have vacation homes down here. And the majority of people are coming from California, other states, or Northern Utah. So I really want to target that audience in Northern Utah. So I put my listings on utahrealestate.com. So people from other parts of Utah can see my listings down here in Washington. And then also it helps me when I go up north to show properties. When I work with buyers in Utah County, I'm able to have access to that MLS so I can look at properties that are listed, contact the agents, get all the information there. Again, like I said, once you're registered with the state, you are licensed to sell real estate throughout the entire state of Utah. It just makes it difficult when you don't have access to certain MLSs. And I think I'm going to do another vlog about Realtor.com and how I use Realtor.com when I show properties in Iron County um, because you have to be a primary member of Iron County. They don't do secondary members. So it's a little bit of a tricky board. I don't want my primary board to be Iron County. I want my primary board to be Washington County. Secondary member with Utah Central Association Realtors. And then, like I said, I use Realtor.com when I look at properties in Iron County for my clients there. So how you can find out what local board you will be affiliated with, just get on to utahrealtors.com and take a look. They've got their interactive map there, and then they have all the contact information for you know, let's say you were in Box Elder County, they'll have the um, contact information there to help you get started. 
So let's just start with the Utah Central Association of Realtors. So my secondary board. Um, just go to their site, new members, and they'll give you all the information on what it takes to start up along with your dues you're going to have to pay. Like I said before, guys, becoming an agent, you know, it's not cheap. But then again, when you are out working hard, doing a good job, you're going to be making money. So just plan on this every year. You're going to be paying $1,500 for your board dues for the year. Plan on it, budget it, use it as a tax write-off, and move forward with life. Your board dues do not include your MLS subscription fee. So on top of my um, Utah Central Association of Realtor dues, I also pay um, $39 a month to have access to utahrealestate.com. And then I pay about $15 a month for my Supra e -key, which gives me access to lock boxes so I can show homes. And then I also pay dues to the Washington County Board of Realtors, where, I've already, where I already pay my National Association of Realtor dues and stuff. They only charge me for um, my board dues. So I don't have to pay the National Association of Realtors and the Utah Association of Realtor dues twice. I just have to pay both board dues. So it is a little bit more, but for me, it's well worth it. That's how I get my business out there. That's how I work with my clients. It's just an invaluable tool. This is the Washington County Board of Realtors. So I'm a primary, my, my primary membership is with them. So just a little bit of information here. They don't have it all online. So if you guys are wanting to get registered with Washington County, make sure you give them a call or drop by and say hi. They are more than happy to help you. And again, so with Utah, it's the same with Utah Central Association of Realtors or any board in the state of Utah. Give them a call, figure out what you need to do, and get on it. So once you pick what board you want to be affiliated with, find a brokerage that's also affiliated with that board and go ahead and sign up with them. So uh, there's lots of brokerages to choose from. I think they're all great. I think it just depends on the individual agent and what works best for them. Personally, I'm an agent with Equity Real Estate. I absolutely love them. I've been with Equity ever since, ooh, I want to say 2011. So right off the bat, after I got my license, I was with another brokerage that took um, a 20% cut of my commissions, which I didn't love, especially starting out. That for me was hard to give up that much money when I was just trying to build up my business. So I ended up looking at equity. Um, it's $4.99 every transaction. That's what they take out of my check. Unless it's under like 80,000 80, purchase price, then you um, go from there and do an 80-20 split. So I feel like equity's program is awesome for me. I absolutely love my broker I work under. I love the forms and the resources available to me as an equity agent. So personally, that's the brokerage I love. That's what I work under. But like I said, go interview brokers and figure out what works best for you. Go look at their programs and see what you are comfortable with. And then after that, guys, go ahead and sign up with your broker. Sign up with your board and get to work and <laughs> start making money. Oh, one other tip that I have for you if you're a new agent just starting out is um, find an agent who's established to work under, to mentor under, I guess would be the best way to phrase that. So when I first started, my mom was an agent and she had a bank owned package, like I said, 2010, the market crashed in 28. So like stuff was not moving in the real estate world. We were selling bank owned properties and she needed a buyer's agent. So that's how I started out and it was kind of a baptism by fire, but I really loved it. I really value that um, education I had. I don't know if I would be where I'm at today or even still in the real estate profession without my mom mentoring me. So I highly encourage you guys to find a reputable real estate professional in your area under your broker. Of course, you're going to have to find someone that's with the same brokerage you're at and um, see if they need a buyer's agent, see if they need someone to sit in their model homes. Um, see if they're willing to mentor you and help you. Um, your broker will be too. Like your broker is an incredible source. They'll be able to answer all your questions, refer back to them often. My broker is a saint. Like even to this day, I ask her questions all the time because I want to make sure I'm doing the best I can do for my clients. And if I ever have a question with the law or what the best way would be to approach something, I ask her and her knowledge and help has really helped me become a better agent. So Re rely on your broker big time. Ask them questions. Use their help. They're there to help you and they're happy to help you. And also, if you can find an agent who is looking for um, someone to work under them, I highly, highly recommend that because 
it helped me. It was huge for me. So anyway, I hope this video helps. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see y'all next week.